Yeah, I know. My hat looks silly. I couldn't find my gray hat. I keep losing them every time I go hiking. There's actually frost on the ground, and it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So I think this is appropriate. I think this is appropriate. Don't starve. Or let's just say I'm saying Intel should try to not starve. I don't know. I don't care. This is the hat I'm wearing for the video. Anyways, the point of this video, it seems to me like Intel saw the 3900... X coming from AMD and they said well we're not going to have 10 cores for a year and a half so we have to come up with something to compete at the $500 price point because we just can't give up that $500 price point even if we have no business trying to occupy it anymore why don't you just put the uh 10 980 XE at there because that can barely beat the 3900X when using the double the energy. So there, there Intel, there is your $500 product. But no, that they're not ready to drop prices to a fourth, only in half right now. So they needed something to hold that point. And I guess they said, I guess we'll just clock the 9900K faster. And so they did. And it's binned and it is 3% better. And it seems like they told marketing at the last minute, oh, uh, we're launching this tomorrow. And the marketing went, what? Uh, uh, and then they just threw these slides together. These slides, or I guess the description on Newegg is so bad, I have to show you it. So yeah, here it is, the i9-9900KS on Newegg. I looked at this out of curiosity on my lunch break, as I always do, just to see what are the final prices. Oh yeah, look at that deal right there. This is the world's best gaming processor made even better by 2%. And if we keep scrolling, what we'll actually see for me, which is the funniest part, I don't even know where to start here, uh, simple, confident overclocking. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. and of course they're advertising Optane, even though this isn't even a real Intel exclusive feature anymore. But you know they've got to tell you there's some reason you would be buying these horribly inefficient processors, right? Uh, let's see, why else would I buy this? Oh, uh, <laughs> because it works on a motherboard. You don't have to upgrade motherboards, guys. That's not what they usually do, is it? Um, and then we get to the parts that are really, really funny for me. I mean, I'm not even sure who came up with this. Uh, here is where the 5 gigahertz is. Here is where the hyper threading is. And uh, here is where you do more with the fastest cores. <sighs> and then, of course, they put this up so quickly that they couldn't even put the right name for the i3. And again, this is the same slides on Amazon, so it's not like... Uh, this is some mistake Newegg made. No, this is a mistake Intel made. Hastily throwing these together. Uh, they couldn't even spell I3 right. But maybe they didn't want me to find it because it's selling for $180 right now and can't even beat AMD's last gen $150 12-thread CPUs. I'm not sure. But what I do know is someone came up with the performance level part of this at the last minute. I mean... Entry-level gaming, great entry-level gaming, not so great. Uh, and then premium performance at an i5. So we go from great entry-level gaming to premium performance. Well, what's better than premium? Well, blazing fast performance with a disabled hyper-threading i7. Remember, only the i9 gives you the hyper-threading that's located right here, people, unlike this blazing fast i7. And then we go to the 9900K for ultimate performance, except... Okay, now Ultimate is the top tier. Uh, but no, it isn't. It's Special Edition Performance is one step above that. This just tells you how hastily Intel threw this together. This is... Uh, it's going to be a long year for Intel. Intel, you're drunk. Go home. Or at least please give your marketing people some time to put together some proper slides. Or I don't know, fire whoever came up with all of that. Although to be fair, if I was marketing the 9900KS, I'm really not sure what I would say. Because it's priced to fight a superior AMD 12 core that uses 20% less energy. 20% less energy, 4 more cores. I mean, I don't know how long this can last. I think at a certain point, Intel just needs to admit defeat and drop prices further. And I expect that's what they will be doing very soon. I actually reported that in my Whispers of Golden Co. video that came out last week. That I have information from a motherboard vendor that they plan $50 across the board price cuts for much of their lineup. So I guess that would put the 9900K at 500 or a little below it to the 9900 at 
400 although if you ask me that should be no more expensive than the 3800x considering it uses more energy and has security problems they'll put the i7s probably about 300 or less which they should be they only have eight threads right now and then the i5s i guess are just going to be i3 prices and i3s they are going to be about 100 bucks pretty soon and I, I still don't think that's enough. As I've discussed, I really think Cascade Lake, if it has trouble beating in 12-core 3900X, those, and they use double the energy, that should be 500. And then somehow Intel's just got to squeeze their 4-core i3s to 18-core i9s between, like, 0 and $600. Like, that's their entire product stack until Comet Lake comes out. And even when Comet Lake comes out, their best 10 core is just probably going to be placed against whatever 39, you know, 100x refresh comes out next year. Well, AMD is just sitting pretty with 16 cores. I don't know. That's why I made this forum cop video. I mean, it doesn't need to be in the forums. It's just ridiculous stuff I find people doing on the internet. And this time it's Intel's own marketing department. Although I will say this for forum cop i saw in the wccf tech comments section someone bragging about getting a 2080 super and a 9900 ks the other day guys for the price of a 9900 ks and a 2080 super you can get a 2080 ti and a 3600 that will game better do not get a 9900 KS for gaming unless for somehow your business depends on ultimate gaming performance and you already have a 2080 Ti or more likely a Titan RTX because that's how expensive your rig needs to be to justify getting some ludicrously overpriced 8-core processor that will require $200 worth of cooling. Or grow a goddamn brain and get a 5700 XT and a 3600 for half the price of a 9900 plus 2080 Super and be 80% as good. <laughs> uh, well, that will just about do it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider supporting me on Patreon. Excited to see what else you have to say in the comments. All right, peace. You said you don't